Hello, good day. So today I'll be discussing to you the uh, four statements in Java, and we will cover the topics um, for the four statements flowchart, four statement syntax, four statement scope, and how does it work? Okay. And so for the flowchart, uh, actually it's uh, very similar to while statements. No? So the both have initialization and condition. Okay. And if, say, for example, this condition is evaluated true, it the execution will proceed to the body of the for statement, and then going to the increment or decrement part or the update uh, part of the loop for the counters, and then it will go back to your condition again, and it will continue to loop within this three parts of the loop, so condition, body, and in your update statements for as long as the condition is evaluated true. And if the condition is evaluated false, it, the execution will automatically um, continue outside the uh, for loop. So this is the basic uh, syntax for the for statement. And what's good about uh, for statements is that the initialization, condition, and then the uh, update statements are all in one place. Okay, so it's easier to write and easier to remember. No, but remember it's uh, the same with while and um, do while statements that they all both have four parts. So, but for me it is. For me, it's easier to write uh, looping statements if you are using the for statements. But there, are, but sometimes um, there are some cases that it is better to write the loop using while or do while. No, so well, actually, that depends on you as the programmer to choose which statement is best suited for your um, program. And please take note that the for uh, keyword is in lowercase, and we do not have a uh, semicolon after the closing parenthesis. Okay. For the scope, no. So, like the other looping statements, so it is defined using this uh, open and close curly braces. Okay. But if you will omit those curly braces, remember that the scope is defined, no? Or the scope of the for statement is the first statement after the um, line where the for keyword is written. Okay. So the first statement here, okay is within the scope of the for statement but for the second statement it is already outside the scope of the for statement okay um, you can use this technique if there is only one statement for the body of the for but if there is one there's more than one statement uh, it is safer for you to use these opening and close curly braces okay even if you indent this line here or this statement it, it will uh, it will not be executed for as long as the condition of the for statement is true so how does it work so you have here the uh, counter variable an integer variable and you have here the uh, loop okay so the first thing that's gonna be executed is the of course the initialization part of your loop okay followed by the condition okay if that condition is evaluated true it will proceed to the body so remember no so the body could consist um, maybe one or more statements no for as long as there's a curly braces you won't have a problem after executing the body the execution will proceed to the update statement in this case the increment okay of the variable so after incrementing 
the execution will proceed to the condition again to test if the uh, condition is still true and then proceed to the body if it is evaluated true so it will continuously loop within these three parts of the loop okay for as long as the condition is evaluated true and if finally if the condition is evaluated false the execution will move outside the for statement okay so let's try out or let's try an example for us to better understand how does this uh, for statement work so we have here the um, uh, condition so let's try to simulate uh, what's gonna happen here so as we have discussed earlier so the first uh, statement that's gonna be executed is the initialization part of the counter so counter is set to zero okay after that your condition will test if counter is less than five so we all know that the counter is initially set to zero so it's going to test is zero less than five and obviously this condition is going to be evaluated true so it will proceed to the body so in the body it will simply print the value of the counter so your output will have uh, the value of zero or it will print the value zero okay and after that your counter will now be incremented and in by one so from zero it becomes one and then next it will test if the condition is still true so it's going to test is one less than five okay and that is going to be evaluated true so therefore it will print one okay so a while back it printed zero now it will add one to the output okay and again counter will be incremented by one okay so it becomes two and then after that it will again test if two is less than five so that's going to be evaluated true therefore it will print the value of counter which is two so the output now is zero one two okay so the cycle goes on so we will now increment the counter so it becomes three and then we will now test again the uh, condition so is three less than or equal to five yes so the output now becomes zero one two three so it will print three next it will be the counter is going to be incremented it will become four and then we will again test for the condition so is four less than five yes okay so the output is now zero one two three four so after that we will again go to the increment part of the loop so your counter is now five then again test for the if the condition is still true so the value of the counter now is five so that's going to be is five less than five so obviously the answer there is or the evaluation for that condition is going to be false okay so therefore it will no longer execute the statement inside the body of the loop okay and the output the final output is now zero one two three four okay but remember no the execution will of course proceed outside the looping statements okay so same like with our the same with the while statements or any other looping statements your initialization must um, 
must be no uh, must be the basis of your condition if you've started from zero most likely you you are trying to determine if the counter is uh, lesser than a greater number or if you started say for example uh, say using the value of 10 so probably you're gonna put here say for example while counter is greater than or equal to 0 or 1 okay and of course your update statement would be uh, counter minus minus okay if in case you made an, an error uh, in uh, putting the right statement okay especially for the condition so you'll have an uh, error in your output no so please take note of uh, this three okay so they must go hand in hand with each other for you to be able to print the correct output or in this case for uh, a more complex problem uh, you'll be able to um, see the correct output of your program okay so i think that's it so that's how for statements work okay and if you like this video um, maybe you're watching from my youtube or facebook uh, page please don't forget to click like subscribe or follow and click that bell button thank you for watching and have a good day thank you